I am Adelin, or on this channel apparently, Madeline. Today is a little bit different. I'm outside for once, so I brought myself outside to one film and to take myself out on a little date. A few people have asked me, and yes, most of my videos are scripted. I know, shocking. I cannot ad lib. I'm trying to let a little bit of that go. I'm trying to be a bit more chill. I'm trying to. Just. Chill. I just finished a whole lot of classes in the morning. The good thing about it now is that it's all online and most of it is pre-recorded lectures which means that I can binge all my lectures in one go and after that I should theoretically be free. Let's be real, med school students are never really free. We just choose to neglect our problems. <laughs> so here's me neglecting my problems for a day or rather for half a day because I got everything done around 4 p.m. I took about an hour to get ready because I can't choose my outfit for crap and I'll probably chill here for about an hour before heading off to dinner. I want to go to this Italian place. I've missed it so much. Uh, I brought a book to read. It's my sister's. It's called They Both Die in the End. Uh, I could also write a poem if I choose to. I don't know why, I never come out alone. Even if I do, it's to meet someone. So this time I just wanted to experience what it's like to be independent once in a while. I'm pretty sure after a while, I'll come back to ramble about certain things. I do want to talk about random stuff. Maybe in a way, this isn't really a date by myself. I'm technically bringing you, the viewer, along. So technically, I'm not by myself and technically, this is not an independent date. Hmm, I'm achieving nothing today. Although, this lighting be looking good on my skin. <laughs> A few days ago, a friend had asked me what I wanted to do in my YouTube channel and if I was going to do study with me videos. Hell no. First of all, I don't know why anyone will want to see me study. Second of all, in my room when I study, I move around a lot. It's going to be very distracting, so I probably wouldn't. Moreover, isn't it boring to watch people study? I get that it's a nice concept that you're studying with someone, but not actually studying with someone. Like, everyone likes the idea that they're with someone, but not really. <laughs> Crap, that's a little bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> point is, I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever I want. I just wanted to talk about my YouTube inspiration for a moment. It's not difficult to figure out who I'm trying to mimic based on my editing style, if you could call it that. If you don't know, then let me have the honor of letting you know who she is. She's Ashley from Best Dressed. Jeans, I think it feels very cool, girl, because as you can tell, I am the coolest. She is this lifestyle outfit guru that's just graduated from film school. I am obsessed. Recently, she's been taking a break and focusing more on herself, her own projects and stuff like that. But what I want to talk about is parasocial relationships for a second. I understand that it's really easy to relate to someone on the internet because that's the face they put up and most people just want to be relatable. In her recent videos, her style has been changing up. She's been a bit mellow or calm, so to say. Yeah, calm's the word. Oh, a fly attacked me. <laughs> Yeah, so she's been a little bit more calm recently and people in the comments haven't been great. 80% of the comments are quote-unquote nice, asking her like, are you okay? You don't look happy. You look kind of sad in this video. You look kind of stressed. Take a break. Thing is, 
I feel like everyone should evaluate their parasocial relationship with her because let's be real. What do we know about Ashley? We don't know anything. This is a persona that she's put up on the internet. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I'm being selfish too. I feel like I need to evaluate my parasocial relationship on a very superficial level. When I watch her on the internet, she does bring me joy. Whenever I see her outfit videos, it makes me happy. Whenever she uploads, I'm really happy too. That dog needs to calm down. <laughs> but I know that behind the screen, she's also a human and it's very unfair of me to be like oh take a break just because you seem like you're not yourself lately it's not my place to tell her who she is and what is genuine because that's so annoying to hear yeah that's my ramble Anyway, it's about an hour later. I feel like I should head out for dinner. I don't want it to be too late when I get home. So let's hope I don't get hit down by a car when I ride the bike. Okay, turns out there's something I have to do. So I have to go home first. The date will resume in an hour. Oh, hello there. Aren't you looking sexy tonight? So. I forgot that I had something to do, so I came home and I changed into a more dinner appropriate dress and I'm going to take a bus to get some dinner now. Let's hope I don't miss it because I procrastinated too much. <laughs> So I'm back from the date with Marcel. Overall, how was it? There were a couple of hiccups on this date. Not gonna lie, not gonna sugarcoat it. So the first being that after my trip to the beach, I had to come home because I forgot to do something uh, that was decently important. Oh, I don't wanna get into it. It actually makes me so mad. After that, that already made me an hour or two late for my dinner. So I wanted to catch a bus to town to go to the restaurant. Lo and behold, the bus literally drives past me right before my eyes because I think he didn't see me and I blended into the background too well. So after that, I decided, you know what? Screw it, I'm taking a cab. So I took a cab to the restaurant, got there. I had the best pasta. When I said that I liked the meal to the waiter, I freaking meant it. And on the way home, I was like, you know what? This date needs to end well, at least, okay? So I'm gonna dance it out, okay? <laughs> so aside from two decently major hiccups, it was a good time. I'd say that I would get a second date and I feel like everyone should get their own second date with themselves. Over the past two years I was studying here, I feel like I've grown more and more uncomfortable with being by myself and with my thoughts alone. I feel like I was always the best or always the happiest when I was with someone or with people or with friends that I liked. I grew so used to being with someone that it was just really strange when I was finally alone. So I kind of forgot the sense of being independent. I forgot how to be happy by myself again. So on this date or probably over the next few months or a year or however long I do this YouTube channel, that's probably all I'm going to be doing. <laughs> learning to be freaking happy with myself. It's really good that online classes are giving me more leeway to actually have time to do all the stuff that I want to do, which is like dumb things like this, taking pictures and modeling and the narcissistic things that I make fun of all the time. I like doing those things because it makes me feel confident. <laughs> and that's not something that I want to forget or take away. There really isn't a point to this video. I feel like if anything, this video was solely for me and it's solely for myself to look back on and think, wow, 
I had a nice time. I had a nice time at the beach looking at cute dogs, writing my story, writing my poem, talking to a camera about things that I think are interesting but I feel like other people would find boring or rather I'm scared that they'll find boring because I'm just scared that people don't like me anymore. That's where I am. Scared and terrified of being by myself, scared and terrified of being myself. It's just a shame and I feel like it'll be a waste if I keep living like that. It can only go up from here. Thanks for tagging along on this self-care date. I don't know what to call it. Rambly date? Narcissistic date? Who knows? <laughs> Thank you anyway. I'll see you next time. Bye.